I was doing concrete when I was in co- in high school. I worked for a concrete contractor for two summers, and uh, and I learned a lot just by doing it. You know, being out on the job, worked for two dollars an hour for this guy. And he, Anyway, we were we were we were in this hole. It was pitch dark out, and it was like a lightning storm from all the the mortar and rockets going off. And when that big one went off, it was a, over a one megaton blast. Uh, leveled all these steel hangars. I think there was 12 squadrons in, a, in at that airstrip in July. The, the hangars all came down, and all every bunker in the whole complex caved in. But mine didn't, my, and I and I had all our um, all our ground support people were in that bunker. And when I came to, I said a quick prayer to God that if you let me get out of here and get home where I belong, I'm going to do the best I can to raise the the most unbelievable family that you've ever seen and he kept his end of his his promise and I kept mine growing up in a family business I think pretty much you know your entire life revolves around uh, this business one way or another you know I certainly have childhood memories of sports and school and friends and things like that but um, from you know from the all of my memories as a kid I definitely remember, you know, loving to go to job sites with my dad. You know, in the 80s, it seemed like safety regulations and things like that were a lot different. And so, um, you know, now bringing your six-year-old or something to a job site would be pretty unacceptable. Um, but I remember loving to go to work. Um, I, I was devastated sometimes if my dad would leave in the morning before I woke up and I couldn't go to a job site with them. You know, at the time in the mid eighties, we were mostly doing residential projects, people's driveways and patios and sidewalks and things like that. So, um, so, you know, it, it, it was a little bit easier cause there were less people involved. Um, but you know, even our family car, when I was going to grade school, um, elementary school, I, I remember how excited I was when, we got to drive to school in a dump truck. You know, that was our family car when I was in first or second grade. Everywhere we went, if it was the grocery store or, you know, taking me to school or something, it was an, it was probably a 20 year old dump truck, the first one that our company bought and it, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It was an interesting life, but it was a struggle and Ben wanted to, said he wanted to come from after he had his pilot's license and all that stuff and he wanted to be a cement man I thought he was crazy I'm the first guy to grab a shovel or a broom or you know whatever is needed I think everyone at our company we are successful because people know that um, you know we're while there may be titles um, everybody is a whatever it takes role here I still have my truck lettered yeah I'm still involved with a lot of these guys lives still uh, and probably will be until the day I die. Well, definitely will be. Perfectly happy just being a braggart now, bragging about that company, and I do it a lot. That's how proud I am.